the owner Alfredo and this is Danny, the director. We are walking through the hotel gardens and now there is a little bit of sunshine. The first thing we did was open the window. In front of us is Lake Tanganyika. It seems crazy. Everything started just a couple of months ago and now we are on the shore of the longest lake in the world. It's not very common to come to Burundi to invest in a tourism activity and to persevere with your own project in spite of the war. But for somebody, starting a simple hotel became his reason in life. Local development is built through individual experiences. And this is Alfredo's story. The first time I came to Burundi was 1989. I fell in love with this place having breakfast on the terrace of this hotel. Some years later, a friend called and he told me, do you remember that hotel that you liked a lot? It's on sale. So I decided to buy it. A few months after I bought the hotel, there was a coup d'etat and the hotel was occupied by the government. During the 90s, the civil war broke out, and only then, in 2001-2002, did I get the hotel back. During 2005 elections, we welcomed the first 20 customers. They were peacekeepers. This hotel is part of Burundi's history, but for us, the important thing was the principle used to renovate and manage the hotel. Alfredo is an expert in eco-construction and the concept behind his hotel is mas menos, trying to get the most with the least. Here are some examples. The hotel has been built using local materials and local labor. The water is heated by solar panels. Some of the employees have been recruited through an association that works with orphans of the world, like Claude, the pizza maker, who is working here for just over one year. All the building's furnishings were made by local artisans and artists. One of the main suppliers is the Women Cooperative of Musaga. Tourists that come here can give a great contribution to development. This country needs to be connected with other cultures and other identities. According to a UNDP research report, every tourist that spends five days in Burundi creates a job for one year. But what about us? Counting me, Silvia, Dilani and the camera woman Alessandra, we will be creating to help new jobs for one year. Not bad for simple tourists. <laughs>